was something about Cinderella. It's just a delightful ballet. Fairy tales and the stories within them, they have something very timeless about them. It's happy ever after. You just kind of go, yes. It's always magical, thanks to the genius of Sir Freddie Ashton and Prokofiev. It's everything that Ashton is about. It's telling a story with great humor, but also it touches at the heart. This ballet is 75 years old, and it was uh, Sir Frederick Ashton's first full-length ballet for the company. So I think it's quite fantastic that that line has been carried on because Wendy Ellis Soames, who was, of course, a dancer with the company, is now in charge of staging the production. It was one of the first ballets I ever saw when I came to London, aged 12. And Cinderella was left on my cornea. Cinderella is very, very classical ballet. It's a very lovely story for me, for Prince. There is no much drama happening, just being a prince and trying to find your love. I don't need to tell you about Cinderella. I think everybody knows her very well. Why I like her, I think, is uh, her pure soul. Good things happen to good people. So she ends up being the princess that she always wanted to be. One of the most important things that Fred ever said to me was, tell the story, be musical, and use your epaule horn and pour de bras. Think of the jeté underneath yourself. Really land, 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 very, very solid. Then you can do your back bend. All the beginning was fine, absolutely good. What he did with his career for is incredible because the steps are very, very difficult, but you feel free when you dance his ballets. One of the things, I think it's his signature move to leave the girl halfway and uh, carry her across the stage and uh, create that feeling that she's uh, floating. The most difficult thing is to make it look easy because when you hold the girls, your arms are constantly engaged. It's very difficult to breathe as well, but at the same time, you have to show that you're having most wonderful time. We're really dedicated to Sir Frederick Ashton's choreography and really making that uh, sing through this production. But I think it's really important that we, uh, we create a whole new Cinderella for this generation. Part of the process of design is you pick things up and you explore them and then you throw them away and then you come back to them. And nature and playing with scale were things that we sort of grabbed hold of. The theme of nature is a constant thread in all three acts. So there's these meadow flowers, uh, the gilded flowers, and they hold the space and hold the dance, so they make a really nice frame. And in act two, rather than that being inside a classic, sometimes cliched ballroom, we took it outside and did it as a garden party. That whole process of when you deliver a design, it's a long collaboration, really. We've worked with all the technical teams, and then at Thurrock, uh, where they actually build it, people there are extraordinary. So I think all Ooh. of the issues with hanging it have gone away. Have they? Yeah, and that's precisely what yesterday was about. They're all incredibly skilled and offer better ideas of how to construct things and how to paint things and discuss the best way to build everything. I tend to do a lot of research, You're just pulling images that sometimes I don't really know why I'm pulling them. And interestingly, the costume designer works in quite a similar way. We both did mood boards. The mood boards are very eclectic. They're just ideas, inspirations. I've got Molly Goddard in there. I've got Valentino. I've also got 18th century. You know, it goes all over the place. Wendy was very clear she didn't want it to be a particular period. So I've, I've really kept that alive to mix the periods. And so the purveyors are a kind of mix of 18th century dandy meets rockabilly, teddy boy flowers seem to work quite well in terms of Cinderella's world being opened up by the fairy godmother to nature, the seasons. But I was thinking about the sisters and I like the idea of them becoming these kind of uh, fashion victims, consumer victims, so it's all about their appearance. So they become the kind of hothouse cultured flowers, whereas the seasons in Cinderella are very much to do with meadow and wildflowers. 
It's a really big moment when you start to see the clothes all together for the first time. Everybody's pushing and everybody's finishing off those last bits. It's exciting and it's collaborative and it's, it's coming together of something extraordinary. I hope that people see new things in it because I think we've taken like a very precious painting and reframed it and put it in a new room. It's magical, you know, it is a fairy tale and you want the audience to be transported into this fantastical world. I put the beautiful costume on, I go on stage, I see amazing set, I love it. It's very exciting. The wonderful Prokofiev score with Fred's musicality, it's absolutely superb. The world is a heavy place sometimes, and we need these stories to make us forget what's going on and just connect ourselves with magic. <laughs>